Ms. Fiorino, the President has just issued an executive order to expand gun laws and background checks. Now, none of you on stage agree with this, but recent polls show the majority of Americans are in favor of universal background checks. Not in this room. It's the poll data. <laughs> So and we why? all believe the poll data <laughs> all the time, don't we? So tell me. Why, in your view, is the president's proposal a problem? Oh, it's a problem for so many reasons. First of all, it is yet another lawless executive order. You see, he doesn't like the fact that Congress has rejected his ideas twice on a bipartisan basis, so he's decided he just gets to override them. Sorry, Mr. President, not the way the Constitution works. Secondly... Secondly, he basically admitted in that speech that he hasn't been paying much attention to enforcing the laws we have. He said, gee, we need a few more FBI agents. That would have helped perhaps stop a tragedy here in South Carolina with Dylan Roof, a guy who clearly never should have been sold a gun. In other words, Mr. President, you're right. We need to enforce the laws we have. Let's enforce the laws we have. There are criminals running around with guns who shouldn't have them. We don't prosecute any of them. Less than 1%. But I want to go back to the technology issue for a moment, if I may, as well, because in this regard, I disagree with Senator Santorum. Look, I come from the technology industry, and I can tell you there is one thing that bureaucracies don't know how to do. They do not know how to innovate. We have come seven generations of technology since 2011. We have bureaucracies that are incapable of bringing in that innovation. So yes, there's some very specific things that we should ask the private sector to help us with, including making sure we have the latest and greatest in algorithms to search through all these databases so that we find terrorists before they attack us, not after it's too late. And finally, we need a president who understands technology in the Oval Office. Mrs. Clinton, actually you can a server with a towel. <laughs> Ms. Fiorina, you, you said that when you were CEO of HP, you actually worked with the government. Yes, to try and combat some of these as CEO of Hewlett Packard, do? as CEO of Hewlett Packard, I was asked very specifically for some very real help. The help I was asked to provide. This is now public information, so I am not revealing mm -hmm. what something that once was classified. We had a very large shipment of equipment, software, and hardware headed to a retail outlet. And I was called by the head of the NSA, who had an urgent need for that capability to begin laying out a program to track terrorists. We turned that truck around on a highway, and it was escorted to the headquarters of NSA. In World War II, our government went to the private sector and said, help us do things that we cannot do. The private sector has capabilities that the government does not have. There are some legal authorities that are required. The Sony attack could have been detected and repelled had legal authorities been passed in Congress allowing private networks and public networks to work together. Those legal authorities have not yet been passed. Yes, I was asked to help. I know the technology industry, they will help again, but they must be asked by a president who understands what they have. Yes, you are, yeah.